Hello everyone, my name is here and welcome to the demo of Claras Kura. I believe that's how you pronounce it, I'm not quite too sure. Okay, this is the story of a nine-year-old called Nikanor, who finds himself at the bottom of a cliff and no memory of how he ended up there. Also, his mother is nowhere to be seen and his house is not quite how he remembers it. Oh dear. Confused and determined to be reunited with his disappearance mother, Nikanor is forced to venture through the ethereal dreamscapes inside his house. Will things ever go back to the way they used to be? Well, there's only one way to find out in this tale. Right, so this is a demo of this game. It is not the final product, so... Anything you see here in the demo is not always going to be how it is going to be in the full game, so... Anyways, there's a link in the description below where you'll be able to see something called Game and just by that game there is a download link in which you can play this game for yourselves. It is absolutely for free, there's no charge. And if you are charged, then please tell the developer about it. Anyways, you're my most important treasure. You're all I have left. But I can't leave you alone. I can't let you suffer. That's why... Please, do not leave my side. That makes me feel... What? So, we end up... Nikonor, ah! Hmm. The visuals are fantastic already. My head, it hurts so much. I wish I could do a squeakier voice so it rep replicates one of a juvenile male, but I'm too old in my life to be able to replicate that for so long. <laughs> Where am I? So I'll just do my neutral voice. It, it can't be. Look at that. Oh. These are the outskirts of a village. How did I get here? I can't remember anything. Do you remember your own name? All I know is that I left the village and then... Ugh, my head hurts from just trying to think about it. Amnesia does that. When you're trying to recollect something and then something jolts it, it does really hurt your head. Not that I've had amnesia before, by the way. I'm just talking from... Let's say reading fictions and stuff like that. And also... Realistic life experiences from other people, probably. Anyway, it's about to get dark. I should hurry and go home. Mum must be so worried for me. About me. Hmm. And for me, yep. That works too. Controls. Arrows move around. Z. Talk. Interact. Alternatively enter. X. Country cancel open menu. <laughs> how hard? How hard is it to read text on the screen, Flair? For goodness' sakes! Shift run, control skip text. Now we won't be using that. Although I'm glad it's not run and skip text. It's the same control as other games are. What the? <laughs> Nico, no, don't worry. That's for the player. That's not for me. Although this does look like it's uh, breaching the fourth wall here. What the? <laughs> what is this? Am I going to decrypt something? Uh, okay, so from what we can see here is that we save at various points in the game. Or maybe there's no need to save because I've heard a demo is around 15 to 20 minutes long. So there might not be room or a need for a save point. But I'd prefer to have a save point. You may never know what happens in this journey. Especially with my PC having the chance of getting a BSOD. If you don't know what a BSOD is, then don't look it up. But if you've witnessed it or heard about it, I feel sorry for you. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> uh, blue screens are dead for uh, nothing to be trifled with. Especially when the computer itself doesn't know, or doesn't give you, actually, the root of a problem. Hello? Wait! There's another project made by the same developer of this game, which I'll also put down in the description below, which is the sequel to this tale. 
but the beginning of that tale doesn't start until the end of the full game of this tale. I want to check down there first. Yeah. So this is essentially the prequel, but this was introduced later on when it comes to development work. But don't you worry. A game is a game at the end of the day. Looks like someone's started a fire in here. That's no good. Why well, if it goes out of control? It's too dark to see anything. And is that smoke? I'm not going there. Ha ha ha, no, 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 me. I'm not going there. Um, what about again? No, nope. what about now? How about now? Wait, it could be now? No. Come on, courage up, Nikonor. Go in there. Go. <laughs> I'm begging you, Nikonor. Let's go in there and see what is happening. <laughs> Let's go in there. Damn it. Oh, I was hoping there would be like a repeat event. Look, player, for the last time, I'm not going in there. And then the next time you interact, it's just not going to be a response at all. But that's where the shadow went. Nikanor. Nikanor. I believe it's three syllables to this young gentleman's name. Right, there's nothing down there. I want to. Uh, we've checked down there, though. <laughs> there's nothing down there. There's only a cave of smoke in it. Um, what about back this way? Is there nothing down this way? I don't think so. I do not think so, but I don't think there's anything else that we can interact with. Unless there's another path which I've forgot to check, but I don't think there is. Like, I don't think there is at all. No, no. Ugh, damn it. What is up with this? There's nowhere to go to. It's either on a very rare occurrence that the script is mucked up so that it doesn't have the function in place to advance the story after interacting with something else first or I am missing something important here because at the moment it seems like there is nowhere else to go and... Well, it's probably just me. <laughs> Knowing me, I'm always missing out something, but I don't think I am missing out on anything. Oh, seems like there's something buried in the snow. Unearth it. Okay, so I am missing out on something. A small book lies on the snow. Ah, this is... Is this a save point? Uh, can I open my eyes now? Sure. It's your birthday present after all. Oh, what are we getting for... For my, what are we getting for our birthday? Dad, what's this? I know how much you love the tales I recite at the village, so I made you a book with all your favourite ones. Wow. This is amazing. All the ones I like are here. Even the ones with a farmer and the fire flower. <laughs> Good to know you liked it. I love it. Huh? Is this... A new story? Aye. It's a new story I've written just for you. Its name is... Uh, Karosko... Karosko... Karu. <laughs> I'm not Spanish. <laughs> I believe it's Spanish. <laughs> Can you read it to me? Please, please, please. You really do like fairy tales, don't you? Only cause you're the best storyteller ever, Dad. Oh, Nika. <laughs> Nika. If I knew that the father looked like that, I would have done a much deeper voice. It's my storybook. Dad gave it to me for my last birthday. That storybook became my favourite. He read it to me so many times. But... I was thinking that too. How did it end up here? <laughs> Coincidence. I think not. Whatever. I'll take it. This is very important to me. You obtained storybook. I obtain. You can save your progress by accessing the book in your inventory. Thank you. Um. What's that sound? Is someone there? 
Um, kid, I would go away if I were you. It seems that the underworld's minions have gone this way here. We don't want to be here. Let's get away from this. Oh my god, it can go through trees. The Hellion can go through trees. Um, we need to get away from this thing. Where do we go? Hope there's no secrets along this path which I need to look at. The key difference between the normal end and the true. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Don't you do this to me. Don't you do this to me. Is this the way? Okay. The sequel to this game has, from the development of it, a lot of underworld entities and theme. So I imagine that this one is not short of it either. How much... How long... I've been running? I... Can't tell anymore. Finally, that thing is gone. It almost got me. Hmm? What's here? A house of sorts. That's... My house. I finally made it. I'm home. Are we really? I don't think so. Your favorite book given to you as a birthday gift. Also acts as a save point. Yeah, if I know anything within these scenarios, that when you recognize something right in front of you, when you step into that something, in this case a house, it is not the real thing. <laughs> I think we are within some alternate dimension or something like that. Where it's it projects the experiences and knowledge of the user is trying to trap in by uh, replicating it, but it's not the real thing. It looks like it, and it deceives the individual that's trying to encapsulate but it's not it. Snow has piled up in the firewood. It has indeed a bunch of heavy sacks. The contents are soft and mushy, but they're not mushrooms. Or, I was supposed to say mush potatoes, but no, it, that's mashed potatoes. A grave. Looking at it makes your heart ache. Whose is it? It can't be the father, so could it be the mother? But it can't be the mother because she's missing, not dead. Because if she's dead and she's not missing. As in, like, physically missing. Not mentally missing. She's obviously missing there. To the other people of the family. Hello? Mom, I'm back. Mom, open up. It's me. It's your one and only son. She isn't home. Then why... Why won't the door budge? Ugh, looks like something is blocking the door from the other side. Right, what are we to do? Right. Firewood. Oh, the pitch block is rusting and fixed to the ground. Oh dear, we can't use it. The bottom of the world is too dark to see. Alright, there's a puzzle element here. We need to find a way of being able to get into the house. Uh, yep, I understand that, but what are we to do? The maps are really well done as well. Like attention to detail. That's the difference between a good game and a great game. The artistic details to it. There's an axe on a tree, son. Take it. Yes, please. We've obtained axe. I wonder. Yeah, we can use the axe to smash our way through. Mom is going to be so mad at me for this. We need to get inside. No, this is an emergency. She'll understand. Maybe. Now open. Press the arrow keys in the following order to use the axe. Oh, it's a QTE then. When you're ready, quick time event. Start press... When you're ready to, start press Z. Okay. When you're ready to start, 
Press Z. I think we did it. I think we did it on our first try as well. Maybe we would have been handy to fail once just to see the dialogue. Mother, I'm home. No answer. She really isn't here. Now I'm starting to worry. Come to think of it, something doesn't feel right. I have no recollection of how I was able to get here. And also, was my house always in such a dark and gloomy place like this? Was I supposed to move there? Oh, you're finally awake. How are you? Feeling better? Well, after you knocked us out. Huh? Who are you? No, actually. What are you doing in my house? Well, because the door was open. Don't get smart with me. You know I'm not talking about that. How can I be sure that you aren't a thief? If I was a thief, I wouldn't want to steal from such a shoddy cabin as this. Sh shut up. Things have been rough around here recently. Whatever. I'm not a thief, okay? Then tell me the reason you're here. You'll think I'm crazy, but... I was attacked by some strange creature. Some kind of bear. Or wolf. Or monster. Couldn't see it clearly. I ran as fast as I could, trying to find a safe place. But all I came across were just more trees and dead ends. Then I found this cabin. I didn't want to cause trouble, I just wanted to find a place to hide. Sorry. No. You're not crazy. I saw it too. Really? Yeah, it almost got me. Anyway, don't be so. I should be one to apologize. So I've been so rude, uh, Amarant. And don't worry, I'll leave as soon as that monster leaves. No problem, you can stay until then, but I should consult it with Mum once she gets, once she returns. And, uh, by the way, name's Nika Moore. Hehe, <laughs> I see. Hope we get along. Ugh, same, I guess. Hmm? Ugh. My head hurts. It feels like it's spinning. Ugh, about that. What'd you do? Sorry for hitting you. Thought you were a monster. Huh, so it was you. Don't glare at me like that. <laughs> I said I was sorry. <laughs> yeah. If you say so, Amarant. Lined with tableware, there doesn't seem to be so many. That jar's been empty for a long time, but Mum doesn't know where to put it yet. Are you... Spice I've never seen before. The strong smell makes my head all dizzy. Why are you following me around? Well, seems we're going to be stuck here for a long time, so... Uh, how are you doing? This fire is so warm. I could stay here like this all the time. Ah, uh, but my tummy is starting to rumble. Are you hungry? Hey, anyone would be after being chased for so long by that monstrous mutt. Uh, guess so. She's surprisingly calm about this. Then, what are you waiting me? What are you waiting for? Hurry up and prepare some dinner. Eh, me, me? me? You don't even offer food to your guests? How rude, Nico and rude. And what makes you think I know how to cook? Wait. You do? I... <laughs> I help mum with it sometimes. Like I said, things have been hard around here recently. Don't ask for too much, though. I just know the basics. Still better than nothing. Nico Moore, what you just did there, you just confirmed to her that you do indeed cook. Because you just said, and what makes you presume that I cook? Like, that's a giveaway. I'll see what I can do. But then again, Nika Moore is nine, so that is something to expect. 
Hmm, there must be something to eat downstairs. Now, where did Mom put the storage key? Do you know where the storage key is? Yes, Nika? Have you seen my mom? I don't know anything. Sorry. The house was empty when I broke in. What? But it's late. What if something happened to her? I get your word, but you can't leave with that monster roaming around. I know, but... Don't worry. We'll wait for her. Together. Yeah. I hope she's fine wherever she is. Um, tell me more about yourself. I'm a globetrotter. I go from place to place aimlessly, doing what I can to survive. I wonder if there's more to it than that. There's always more to it than just what we are given. What? But you're just a little older than me. It's true. I live on my own doing what I want and traveling as I please. You live by yourself? Isn't it dangerous? What about your family? I... Used to live with my father years ago, but he's not with me anymore. That's why I live on my own. Oh. S sorry, I shouldn't have asked. It's fine. I have something to show you. I have an axe to show you. Wait, you still have that axe? Who knows? Perhaps we'll need again. Like for destroying things or breaking more doors. Whatever. Just don't swing it down on me. I'll do my best. There's no guarantees. <laughs> I have something to show you. A storybook. That's some nice book you've got there. Can I see it? Fine, but please don't touch it too much. It's very worn out. I will. Books are precious after all. Besides, it seems that this is very important to you. I it is. The last story. I don't think I like it. Hmm. Dad really liked to collect foreign stuff. Mom says it's all junk, though. <laughs> hey, collecting stuff is nice, regardless if it's foreign or not. A sealed wooden barrel. Piled up boxes are blocking the broken entrance. What the? Then can I use my axe? Can I? Can I go outside? Like you? Oh. Uh, Hold on. Dirty clothes accumulated inside. Reach inside. Hmm? There's something inside. Oh, I found the storage key. Excellent. A bucket filled with water. It's foul smelling and has some traces of, mo of mold on it. Um, I would like to show you this key. Huh? Is that... It's the key to the storage. Now you can get something to eat. Yay! About time I was getting really impatient, you know. What an awful guess. I love that pal face. <laughs> oh, pal faces are just so adorable. So... Since you'll be the one cooking, how about I go get the food for you? You? No, I can ask you to. No, 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 take her off on, up on this one. Just let me do this. You'll be the one cooking, so it's fair, right? Also, I might look, I might look like this, but I'm quite strong. Since that big barricade, anti-mutts made of bags and boxes I carried for myself. Hmm. Well, in that case, I'll give you the key after all. Here. Hmm, that smells like a divergence in the story here. Alright, I'll go grab the tastiest stuff I can find. Wait a little, please. Because we could have done this ourselves. Like, we may not need it to give her the key after all. She's taking too long. The bedrooms and the story store past the store. Enter, yes. Hmm, I feel like some deception going on here. Hey, Amaranth, you're taking too long. You better not be seeing our supplies or else. What is this place? What happened to the hallway? To everything. Amaranth? Hmm. 
Maybe something happened to her. I probably think so too. Still, we've got the axe. If we try and go back, I have to search for Amaranth first. I don't think Amaranth is anywhere to be found. Rocks? Rocks, yep. It's converging into a cave. Amaranth? Are you out of your mind? You can't run away like... Ah. Hmm. What is this place? I'm not sure. You mean this isn't part of a house? Of course it isn't. <laughs> okay, that part you could have just not said. <laughs> of course it isn't, you idiot. How could it be... Nika. No. No more. Please no more. Nika. I don't understand what's going on around here anymore. Scary monsters. Mom's gone. My house is a total madness. This must be a nightmare. Nika. Would you calm down? Your yapping is getting on my nerves. And yes, this is all real. I saw those things too, remember? I get it, I get it. But you didn't have to pull my cheeks like that, you big stupid... Okay. Calm down. I'm sure we'll find a solution together. My head, really? She's kind of oblivious to insults. Or that's for she, but it just passes through her. Guess so. Any ideas? Uh, She's not coming back. This is a parallel world, Nika Moore. You're wasting your time. That ain't happening. You don't even know where she is or if she'll come back. Then, do you have a better idea? I know we barely know each other, but would you come with me? You're going to enter? That's crazy. Look, I understand all this is confusing. I don't know about what's going on either, but we have no choice. It would be better for us to stay together. It's safer that way. As they say, safety in numbers. And besides, I'm curious to see where this leads to. Maybe there's a way out. Ugh. Just for a carefree reason like that? Now I'm having my doubts about going with you. Ah, <laughs> It's okay. If you start crying again, I'll put I'm not crying. Do you see me crying? Look into my soul. Actually, don't do that. <laughs> That won't happen again. Oh, this is complete nonsense. I'm not sure what's happening anymore. But I need to stay strong. Can't let myself look weak and pathetic. Especially in front of a girl. She's no she's noisy, but doesn't seem to be a bad person. Hey, you okay there, Slowpoke? Hurry up. Oh, so you're rushing me now. Yeah, yo. Mum, where are you? Are you lost just like me? Please stay safe. I'll find you. Ah, that's the end of the demo. <laughs> okay, folks. Thank you so much for watching. Please check the game out for yourselves. There will be a link in the description below where you can download the game for yourself. Please put any comments down below in the video of what you think of this little demo. And also put down in the comments in the Etchio page as well of ideas or thoughts and suggestions, feedback, or just a nice comment in general, really, or constructive criticism. But have a wonderful day, folks, and see you all in the next time. Have a lovely, <clears throat> have a lovely day, and take care of yourselves. <laughs>